This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm going to talk about the Atari 2600. Now, back in the day, okay, this was uh, my first system, okay, and I'm going to show you guys. I haven't seen some of these games in ages, okay. This is Pac Man. Now, remember, this game was my favorite in the arcades. Okay, but when it came to Atari 2600, if you watch some of the documentary videos, it wasn't anywhere near the same game that it was in the arcade. It was actually pretty, pretty terrible. Um, this game, this is old too, River Raid. Me and my dad used to play this game all the time. It was basically simple. You were playing flying uh, above the water and the ships and stuff like that. And it was really, really interesting. I mean, back in the, you know, back in the day, the, the late 70s, early 80s, the, the graphics, there were no graphics. It was basically a, a ball and a stick and then it kind of evolved into little different things. Um, so the graphics were just, you know, this here pitfall. Now, if you look, that was the graphics. That was the greatest thing back then. The, 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 you know, the little sticks and, the, you know, the little graphics like that. This game was the first time ever. When I got this game for Atari 2600, I was really, really young. And this was the first time, the for only I think the only game that I played 24 hours straight. I stood on this game. It was vacation time. It was school, whatever. And I played this 24 hours straight. It was the first time ever in my life that I stayed up 24 hours. And I was a kid, so, you know, I was off, was break, whatever. So, uh, yeah. And then this game is combat. It's okay. Uh, laser Blast. And mind you, like my favorite company. Uh, as Activision, uh, only because when I worked for, um, well, besides they have the best games out, um, when I worked for video game company, I'm not going to name, uh, they, the representatives were always nice to me, they always treated my workers with respect, uh, and they also, you know, very supportive for me to help me with the sales for Activision games, so, um, you know, years ago when I worked in the video game store, and I'm not talking these old games, I'm talking about, you know, new stuff, well, you know, Call of Duty and a lot of stuff that they used to do, and, um, you know, Spider-Man games they used to do. They were very nice, and, and when I worked for the company, I was the number one in all 5,000 stores, I think, at the time, for the sales of Spider-Man 2, obviously, because I'm a big Spider-Man fan. <laughs> so Activision really took care of me uh, and my staff, uh, and even when we went to video game conference, it was really nice. But I just, that, that's that's... A couple years ago, but I'm just bringing out the old, old games. I uh, got a little sidetracked. Sorry, that happens. Um, this game, E.T., oh, it <laughs> drove me nuts. And it, it didn't turn out to do as well as they expected. I think they buried like millions of copies in the desert or something. Uh, who could forget Asteroids? That was awesome. Uh, I'm trying to remember what Vanguard was. Wish I could hook this up now, but with technology getting advanced, you need adapters, and I don't think you could put this stuff on like high definition TVs or whatever. Superman, I remember was good. That was that was the game I was talking about. I forgot what it was for. That and of course I have Frogger. Okay. Uh, I don't remember Haunted House. Maybe if somebody has like a YouTube video I should look at. Yeah. This is, oh, it just fell off for the first time. Damn it. All right, hold on. Yes, I had that. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back it was a great, great game. Um, hold on. Stay tuned for part two, maybe? No? Hopefully not. Let's see. Let's see what else I can do before the doggies are crazy. Uh, Buck Rogers. Look at that, huh? And I yeah, okay, let's see. Oh my god, look at this game. Sword Quest Waterworld. That that game drove me nuts. I never knew how to I never figured out how to play it. I think I played it somehow recently. Somewhere I forgot where and I still don't know how to play it. Wabbit, I don't even remember that. Some of these things are like Ancient these games. 
infiltrate. Okay. We had the, the baseball. Okay. We had uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Okay. There was tanks, but no tanks, if you remember that. Um, there was Star Trek. Wow. Who has that, huh? Um, there was Amador? I don't remember that. There was a game called Name This Game. That's a stupid title. Uh, this is, I think this was good. This was Tron? I think this was Tron. Tron Airlock, maybe? Hold on. Oh, what happened to the blurriness? Come on. Airlock, okay. I'm trying to, this new setting for the, 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 the graphics to see how it comes and my camera's getting out of focus. Uh, survival run. Brainstorming. Wow. Cosmic Creeps. Wow. This is not all my games. This is just some. Sneak and Peek. Oh. Entombed. In, in, okay. Entombed. Commando Ray. Oh, this game was my favorite too. Burger Time. Remember that, Mike? Burger Time? Oh, man. Then we had Atari Video Cube. We had, you know what this is, Mike, right? Masters of the Universe. The Power of He Man, if you could read that, okay? And. I don't think Sammy Carter remembers any of the. Well, he don't even think he was born when these games came out. Uh, probably not. No, he wasn't. Uh, Moon Patrol. <laughs> and here's my favorite Spider Man with the Green Goblin. Look at that. Awesome, right? And then I got some things over here. Um, Blueprint. Wow. Everybody's beeping me. Skype and everything while I'm trying to make video. Ah! And regular text messages. Uh, lock and Chase. Uh, G.I. Joe. Enduro. That was, I love that game. That, that was a recent game. That was pretty awesome. Skydiver. This game was pretty cool. Dolphin. That was pretty cool. You can see the graphics. I don't know if you can see. No, I can't see. All right. And Keystone Capers. Remember that, Mike? That was crazy, that game, right? I don't know if Old Doctor remember those games, but Crystal Castles. That well, I couldn't wait to get this game. I was so happy about that game. That was like one of my favorites, too. Battle Zone. Sky Jinx. I remember liking this game, but I don't remember what's about. Oh, yeah, yeah, Star Master. I loved that game from Activision. That was great. Activision has awesome stuff. They really do. Return of the Jedi. Wow. That was crazy. Um, Cosmic Corridor. Sky Skipper. Okay. Two more. I don't know what my other games are. Reactor and Phoenix. Okay, um, and I gotta say that you know these are not all my games. I had like over a hundred games I think at the time because uh, I was spoiled rotten when I was a kid from my grandparents, my dad, my mom, everybody, aunts and uncles, uh, and you know I had a lot of video games. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you guys don't know that about me. Uh, I was to play tons of video games. The amount of games I have was crazy. Uh, and then after a while, when you get older, you become a parent. 
you know, I still play video games, but not as much as I used to because it's then called responsibilities and paying bills and going to work for a living. So, <laughs> which I'm not doing right now, unfortunately. I wish I need to go back to work, but um, yeah, you still they still don't go away to bills. But anyway, um, I loved my childhood with the, the Atari 2600 games, and I can't wait for. And here's the spoiler. There's going to be a brand new Atari system coming out in 2015, possibly 2016, with the most advanced graphics. And it's going to look like a retro look almost of the Atari 2600, but it's going to be this day and age graphics of 2015, 2016. So look for that. That's the rumor. Take care. Bye for now.